guest is Aparna Singh, who's also a publisher online like I am. I run this online magazine and community for Indian women called Women's Web. I've been doing this for about two years now. Um, I was earlier a marketing professional and a market researcher, but I've always been very keenly interested in women's issues or topics of interest to women. Okay, and about me, of course, Chai with Lakshmi, um, as a show launched about nine months ago now. My background again, similar to Aparna's, marketing, research, um, as well as social research, contributing to documentary films for um, BBC Discovery and Channel 4. I was also a model at one point in the past. So the three things that Aparna and I would like to share with you are about experience, exposure, and engagement. Our background experience in terms of work, uh, which, uh, you know, in each of the cases is, is over 10 years individually, uh, really came to a lot of help in deciding what we wanted to publish in even identifying the opportunity online. You know, when we say experience, it's not necessarily that you've been doing something and then you need to replicate that. There are facets that you can sort of draw upon from your experience, in my case, as a marketing professional. Absolutely. So, you know, that had taught me something about how to look at the market and how to evaluate if there is a need for what you have in mind. I, I don't think I went about it as scientifically as you <laughs> did, okay? So, I just looked at, okay, uh, what are all the different things that I did that I could sort of bring together and make sense of. So I'd done social research, I'd worked on documentary films, I'd modeled and I'd you know done some marketing and I said well I can't just be hopping from one thing to another, I have to you know somehow bring it all together and make something of it and that's really how Chai with Lakshmi came about. Um, so definitely there was that background but did I really know enough about digital marketing? Did I really know enough about digital publishing before I jumped into this? No. Yeah. I have to agree with you there. I mean, again, I wasn't, uh, you know, I was blogging. I have been blogging myself very actively for the last five or six years. You know, at the end of the day, a business is not just about what I like. You know, I, I can't just write about that. Which brings us to the next thing, which is in terms of exposure. Uh, exposure to different people, exposure to what other publishers are doing. Absolutely. And again, you know, collaborating with them, that also becomes very important. Absolutely. And. Uh, exposure also in your own sector so for example let's say in, in my case I'm publishing videos so I need to sort of know what sort of videos are doing well in mm -hmm. the online yeah. world uh, what duration these videos are who's publishing what what are the different ways in these videos are being made how low budget things can get now exposure also means that you, you sort of need to understand how the online world works so even before you set off starting creating something online uh, hopefully you will have a twitter account a google plus account a facebook account please yes um, and be part of a few different communities which are a relevant to digital publishing and be relevant to the sector or subject area in which you are looking to publish at the end of the day for a small publisher like me uh, social media is a big part of how i reach my audience mm -hmm. And uh, if I hadn't already been using social media and had a certain level of comfort with it, and you know, while that may sound very basic, because come on, who doesn't have a Facebook account today? But uh, you know, being able to go one step further, and uh, you know, if you're using Facebook pages, you know that Facebook is always sort of changing things, and you need to keep up with that as well. So, of the three things that we set off talking about, we've talked about two. One is experience. Second is exposure. And the third thing we think anyone publishing online needs is to create engagement. Your content, whatever you put out there has to be engaging. Engagement is uh, so critical to digital publishing uh, also because there is just so much competition in the market today. An average user has what, say 30 minutes, 20 minutes to read. So you're actually competing for that 20 minutes of her day. and. If you're not engaging, why would she come to you? Social media is a fantastic way of engaging yeah. uh, people around your content. Uh, it helps you sort of run simple, fun contests um, that people can participate in yeah. and therefore feel like they're contributing something yeah. to this community that you're building yeah. and, and the, the, the subject area, I suppose. So you're talking about you know facilitating opportunities for people tweeting out you know, 
things that they like on your website, um, clicking on the like button or Facebook recommending it or Google blessing it um, or commenting on it. Commenting is such a yes. big thing. The more comments, you know, the more engagement on that content. And one thing I found that it helps to get feedback from time to time. Sometimes you get very hard hitting but relevant criticism and you know, fine, why not, if it helps you do better, so. Um, as far as Chai with Lakshmi has concerned, um, just having a simple sort of, you know, contact form on the website has meant that a lot of people have written in um, suggesting guests for the show, suggesting uh, ideas um, on what else they'd like to see on the show, and also saying things like, hey, um, can you use one more camera because it'll be more visually interesting. So it's, it's good, I mean, it's good to know that people are watching it and like the content enough to take a minute out and give feedback. There you have it, the three E's that you need to start up online as a publisher. Experience, exposure and engagement. Thank you for joining me on this webisode.